You have the Cloud Mobile C7. Looks like this. Make sure we're talking about the same phone. Looks like this. Looks like this. And you have heard about that hack where you can actually speed up your phone. So in this video, not only will I show you how to do it, but then I'll prove to you that it works. This is a C5, which we'll use in a moment to compare to the C7. So let's get right into it. So the first thing is it's easy. Just follow the directions. All right, so let's get into settings. I like to go to settings with two swipes at the top and then push the gears here. And then we'll want to go all the way down to the bottom of settings to about phone. Inside of about phone, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see this build number. At the build number, we're going to touch it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And it gets us into the developer options of the phone, which is what we want. Now, since we've touched it seven times and it says we're a developer, back up one. And we're going to look again inside the about phone. And we're going to look for developer options, which are now in system inside system. So let me show you how to get that again. So as soon as you have touched the build number seven times, back out, go back into your settings, and then we want to go into system, touch system, and now we have the, we're at developer options. Touch developer options. Make sure this is toggled on. It is highlighted and toggled on. Yes, we want all of this. So now we're going to scroll way down and we're going to look for a heading called drawing. This one's called debugging. And we're looking for drawing. This one's networking. I think the next one is input. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, input and drawing. There we go, drawing. And now we're looking for three animation settings. Windows animation, transition animation, and animator duration scale. So some people say to turn it into a half, but we're actually going to just turn it all the way off. We touch it. So did you see what I did there? I just touched that, and now I'm going to touch the animation off. Now transition animation, I'm going to touch that. I'm going to turn animation off. And animator duration scale, touch that, and I'm going to turn animation off. We're done. That's as easy as it is. Now push the home button. Now I want you to compare how this C7 functions to this C5. Now when I touch, just to bring up the phone, touch the phone, and it does a little hesitation, and then it brings up the software for the phone. And then now, if I close the phone, it drops it down. So let's see what happens when we touch this phone now that we've changed the animations. Touch the phone, immediately turns the phone on. Get out of the phone, immediately turns the phone off. Let's do uh, Messenger. Touch Messenger at the same time, Messenger. Immediately turns on. Take some time to turn on. Now let's get out of Messenger by pushing the back button one time. Immediately, I didn't get it fair. Let's do it again. Open Messenger, immediately turns on. Be sure I'll agree. And then let's get out. Out. Takes a little time. So let's bring up the camera. Camera immediately comes on on the C7. Immediately comes on on the C7. And let's close the camera. Close the camera. Takes a second to close the camera. Let's open it one more time. Last demonstration. Bloop. Immediately turns on and then immediately turns off. So if you want your phone to feel a little snappier, a little crisper, easier to use, especially if you're using your phone a lot in between apps and sending a message and taking a call and taking a picture, use these settings. Use these settings on your Stratus C7 and you, you will feel the difference. I promise you. All right, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.